Chess friends, the most fun in chess is when two super engines and super grandmasters face each other. That's what this game is about. And I am here to teach you chess strategies, tactics and chess plan. And I have a chess question for you, who is the best chess player in history, according to you and why? Tell me in the comment, I will read your comment and like it. Let's jump into the game, alpha starts with e4. e6, French defense, I want d5. d4. d5? You can play knight c3, knight t2. Or e5, e takes d5. Alpha played knight c3. You can play knight f6, e5, knight here, preparing for c5, try to opening up the position. Or bishop d4, and knight c6 is an inaccuracy because of e5. You are blocked the queen's entry line, small center with close position. So, I played bishop before. Bishop here. Knight c6, queen g4, e5, f5. You can't take the pawn, let me show the variation, then rook takes f6. You can play queen f8 to target the pawn or rook g6 and also e5 to target the queen. Position will be bad for alpha, so he played queen h4. He wants to play bishop d3, then knight f3. Queen g3, pushing the h-pawn, bishop h6, threatening mate in 1. If you play rook f7 to protect it, then knight g5 will be devastating. Let's talk about another move. If you play g6, then move your h-pawn, also bishop h6 will create dark square weaknesses and queen will get open file, game will be over. So, I played knight g6, what is my strategy? Well, if queen moves away then take the pawn, push the f-pawn, and so on. I offered him queen exchange, and he accepted. If you play rook takes queen, which is bad move actually, because of this. Knight a4. If bishop takes then king takes, you have doubled pawn, knight have a permanent position. And bring out your knight to target the key pawn, if this pawn gone, all the black pawn will be gone. So, I played knight takes d8. h4, he wants h5, and you know what, you can't move back your knight, where the knight will be go. He have no square. He wants to play knight g e2, if takes, then knight takes bishop, h6, black will face dark square weaknesses, if takes then rook takes pawn, and create an a rook battery on h file. So, bishop e7, h5, knight here, f4, seizing that square, so the knight will not come there, knight f7 anyway because when one door closes another door opens. And I play b6, c5 in my next move, try to open up the position after developing the knight in a good place. So, knight f3 by alpha. Knight h6, a4. a5. King e2, knight g4, knight d1, b6, b3, bishop here, rook a7, knight e3. Bishop, takes e3. Bishop, d7. What is my idea? It's not knight b7, because the becomes a liability for me. It's knight f7, rook c8, push the c pawn. Your king and bishop in the middle of the board, after takes takes, push the c pawn confidently, because rook is supporting the pawn, I want to create rook battery, and put my rook there, seizing the second rank and pressuring the pawn. So, he played c5 himself. His idea is to create an open diagonal for his bishop, push the h-pawn, takes, takes. And play g4, if takes then, rook g1, pinning the pawn to the king, and you have this, both rooks will get open file. It is called chess strategy and plan, nobody can teach you like me. So, subscribe the channel, what are you waiting for? I played rook b7, bishop c1. Bishop e3, knight here, takes takes. h6, you can't take it, and if you play g6, then rook c1, takes, takes takes takes, 
creating rook battery, pressuring on the knight and you have g7 square square behind from your parents support. Parents always support on your opportunities like this h pawn. So, I played g5. f4. Bishop d2, bishop g4, pinning the knight and threatening the pawn. King f2. c takes d4. Rook e1. Knight b4. Bishop takes b4. Rook c1. Rook h4. g6, threatening the pawn with support of bishop, and if you do nothing then g7, knight g5, targeting the h7 pawn which will be worst condition. h takes g6. King here, rook h6. b4. Rook c6. Rook takes b6. Bishop c5, takes, takes, takes. King can't take it because of this, you will lose your bishop. So, bishop takes a4, king f1. Knight g5. Rook a6. Rook h6, king g1. Bishop e4. Bishop h5. Alpha have two passed pawns, knight here, bring out your king, just improve your position. Rook and bishop is very active. And don't forget to answer my question. Thanks for watching subscribe for more. Bye bye, take care see you in my next video.